what security risk should we envisage in light of the proximity of both venues? Well, good, good evening. One of the security risks could be the spillovers because then you have this uh, two big political parties who are going to converge around the same area and looking at the heightened tension. I mean, apart from drivers who are going to be discomforted, I think the high tension nature of these uh, elections should have probably uh, made uh, one or the two political parties to, uh, you know, rethink. I'm not sure which of them uh, chose a venue first, but then I think that they should have separated themselves. I think it would have been a wise thing to do, uh, but unfortunately, they are meeting. It means that uh, there could be issues to do with, uh, you know, fighting. There could be issues to do with stealing and, and you know, vandalism and all that. I'm only hoping uh, that the police is able to uh, deal with the, the matters that could come up in terms of safety, traffic, congestion and all that. Because it's an area that has a large number of young people. If you look at UPSA, you look at Jimpa, you look at Wisconsin, then you look at the uh, University of Ghana itself. These are universities with thousands of students coupled with residents in the area. And so then you are going to have bouncing of people into the same area. And then the, the, the security challenges this could pose to us could be overwhelming. But I want to believe that once the IGP uh, has decided to allow that to happen, they would have put in measures. I'm told tomorrow they are going to deploy a large number of police officers. And you see, that's the unfortunate thing. It means that instead of deploying these police officers to go into the various regions, they are going to keep these police officers here for probably the whole day tomorrow before deployment starts on Friday, where they'll be heading to the north and all that. Completely uh, unnecessary, if you ask me. I just think that I don't know which of them decided to choose a venue first, but whoever chose a venue first should have remained there. The, those who came, I don't know what, I don't know any of them who did that first, but should have been sent elsewhere so that there won't be that uh, congestion and, you know, the security challenge that that could pose to us. Doc, just before you go, you did talk about measures. What kind of measures must both political parties now implement to safeguard public safety before, during, and after the I, I think I think they should have their own uh, coordinators. They should have their own people who are going to be helping uh, to control traffic. They would have their own people who will be whipped into line. They should have their own people who will be checking to make sure they don't have hoodlums who are going to uh, attempt to engage uh, their, their, their opponents. I think it is very important uh, for them to do that. Apart from what the police, I'm told they are going to deploy uh, a lot of police officers who will be armed with body cameras and all that, maybe canines and all that. But like I'm saying, uh, I think that the timing of this, uh, mm. what do you call it, a rally or, you know, uh, meeting at this area, it, it's something that the police should have asked them in the face. They shouldn't do it because then why do that? And inconvenience all of us. It's completely unnecessary if you ask me. Doc, I just think they should have stopped one of them and moved them to the other side. I think so. Thank you so much.